So you're thinking of moving to Lake Kiwi in upstate South Carolina. In this video, we will be talking about all the pros and cons of living at Lake Kiwi. If this is of any interest to you, stick around. Hi, it's Eric with eXp Realty here at the Mountain Lakes office. If this is your first time on the channel and you would like to be kept up to date on what it's like to live, work, and play at Lake Kiwi in upstate South Carolina, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions along the way, make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, or drop me an email. I would love to talk. So let's jump in and talk about some of the reasons you might not want to move to Lake Kiwi. At number six on the list are termites. Yes, we're in the South and that's something you have to consider before you make the move. If you're planning on settling down, be prepared to invest in a termite bond to safeguard your home. And it's not just termites, we've got our fair share of other creepy crawlies too. It's practically a rite of passage to have an exterminator swing by your home on a quarterly basis to keep them at bay. It's all part of the charm of living in this picturesque area, but it's definitely something to keep in mind before making a move. Number five on the list is the weather. If you're accustomed to the relatively mild summers of the Northeast or Midwest, brace yourself for July and August in upstate South Carolina. It's not exactly a picnic. We're talking about a hot season that stretches for about 3.7 months from late May to mid-September with average highs soaring above 83 degrees. July takes the cake as the hottest month with highs averaging around 90 degrees and lows 71 degrees. And let's not forget about the humidity, it's no joke. During this time, while it might not be as intense as what you would find on the coastal areas of South Carolina and parts of Florida, it's still something to reckon with. But hey, on the bright side, at least we don't have to deal with hurricanes or alligators. Before, we have something to consider if you're a big city enthusiast. If you thrive on the hustle and bustle of a sprawling metropolis, South Carolina might not quite scratch that itch for you. Even our largest cities like Greenville, Columbia, or Charleston, while charming in their own right, are pretty small potatoes compared to cities like Atlanta, Charlotte, or Miami. It's all about that slower, more laid-back pace here. So if you are all about that fast lane, you might find yourself tapping the brakes here a bit. And Alright, let's talk about the number three reason why South Carolina might not be your dream destination. It's pollen. Now, if you're someone who suffers from allergies, especially during the springtime, you might want to think twice about setting up camp here in the upstate of South Carolina. Trust me, I know the struggle firsthand stocking up on allergy meds and nasal sprays becomes a way of life around here. Picture this, for several weeks in the spring, your world turns into a sea of yellow. Everything, and I mean everything, gets coated in pollen dust. And get this, Greenville, just an hour away from Lake Kiwi, ranks 10th among the top 20 toughest places to live with pollen allergies. The number two reason why you might want to reconsider a move to Lake Kiwi in upstate South Carolina is our income tax. Now, if you're eyeing South Carolina as your potential new home and you're coming from places like Florida or Texas where there's no state income tax, well, here's a heads up. South Carolina does indeed have one. It operates pretty much like the federal tax system with rates ranging from 0 to 7%. And you heard that right, you'll be shelling out portions of your hard-earned cash to the state coffers. And finally, the number one reason why you might want to pump the brakes on moving to Lake Kiwi. So if you've got any qualms about nuclear energy, Lake Kiwi is definitely not for you. Here's the scoop. Back in the 60s and early 70s, this picturesque lake was actually constructed to serve as a massive cooling reservoir for Duke Energy's nuclear power plant. Yes, you heard that right. So if the thought of living in close proximity to a nuclear facility doesn't sit well with you, you might want to steer clear of Lake Kiwi. Now let's flip the script and talk about some pros for moving to Lake Kiwi. At number eight, it's the hiking, because around here the options are endless. Whether you're trekking around Lake Jocassee, conquering Pinnacle Mountain, chasing waterfalls, or exploring the rugged beauty of Big Rock Mountain and Estato Gorge, there's always a new adventure waiting. And let's not forget about Jones Gap State Park and the Mountain Bridge Wilderness Preserve. Talk about a hiker's dream come true with dozens more trails just waiting to be explored and we haven't even mentioned the Foothills Trail. Coming in at number seven, we've got Clemson University as a major highlight. Located just eight miles away from Seneca, which sits right on the southernmost edge of Lake Kiwi, Clemson University adds a whole lot of charm and vitality to the area. Known not just for its top-notch academics, but also for its powerhouse sports teams, Clemson brings a vibrant energy to 
the region. Picture this, a quaint little town on the shores of Lake Hartwell with a weekday population of just over 17,000. But come football Saturdays in the fall, it's like the whole state flocks to Clemson, swelling the town's numbers to over 100,000. And let's not forget about the cultural gems like the Brooks Center for Performing Arts and the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute. Number six, so if you love to fish, well, you're in luck. With three large lakes like Lake Kiwi, Lake Hartwell, and Lake Jocassi, plus a bunch of rivers like the Chaga and Chattooga, and more, this area is a fisherman's paradise. You can reel in all sorts of catches here, largemouth bass, stripers, smallmouth bass, crappie, and trout, you name it. Whether you prefer the calm waters of the lakes or the rush of the rivers, there's plenty of fishing action to go around. Let's dive into number five, the weather at Lake Kiwi. Now, if you're someone who's had their fair share of bone chilling winters in the North or the Midwest, you're in for a treat. Our winters are as mild as they come with January being the coldest month. But even then we're talking about average lows of 36 degrees and highs of around 54. And don't even get me started about the spring and the fall. They're like nature's way of saying, come outside and enjoy with their mild temperatures that just beg for outdoor adventures. So here's the bottom line. We have about 10 months of just about perfect weather with just one month where things get a bit toasty and one where you might want to snuggle up by a cozy fire. Moving on at number four on the list is location, location, location. If you find yourself drawn to the idea of a small town with a laid back vibe, then Seneca might just be your kind of place. Picture this, a bustling downtown area teeming with restaurants, shops, and bars, giving the whole town irresistible charm. Seneca isn't just about soaking up the local scene though. It's also a fantastic hub for day trips. You're just an hour away from the vibrant city of Greenville, South Carolina, and an hour and a half away from the artsy enclave of Asheville, North Carolina. If you're feeling the itch for big city excitement, Atlanta, Georgia is just two hours drive away from the lake, and Charlotte, North Carolina is just under three hours from the lake as well. So whether you're craving the tranquility of a small town life, itching for a taste of city living, Seneca's prime location has got you covered. Let's dive into number three on the list, property taxes. Now, if you're someone who cringes at the mere thought of property tax bills, then South Carolina might just be your saving grace. We're talking about some of the lowest property taxes in the entire nation. In fact, in 2023, South Carolina snagged the 46th spot out of 50 states and the District of Columbia for having the lowest property taxes, with New Jersey claiming the number one spot for the highest property taxes in the country. So if you're looking to save a pretty penny on property taxes and keep more of your hard-earned cash in your pocket, South Carolina could be the place for you. At number two on the list, the cost of living. Now, if you're someone who's all about stretching your dollar and making the most of your budget, Seneca might just be your jackpot. According to Best Places, Seneca scores a solid 85.6 on the cost of living index. What does that mean? Well, it means that when you factor in housing, food, child care, transportation, health care, taxes, and other essentials, you're looking at a total cost that's a whopping 14.4% lower than the U.S. average. Sure, it might be 4.1% higher than the average in South Carolina, but considering the savings compared to the national average, it's still a steal. All right, what's the number one reason why Lake Kiwi might just be your slice of paradise? Well, it's the lake itself. Now let's rewind a bit. Back in the 60s, Duke Power, now Duke Energy, rolled up its sleeves and got to work constructing Lake Kiwi. By the early 70s, this stunning masterpiece was born. We're talking about a large lake spanning 18,500 acres in surface area and boasting over 320 miles of shoreline. Lake Kiwi just isn't your run-of-the-mill body of water. It's cleaner, clearer, and deeper than most lakes you'll find in the southeast, with picture-perfect Blue Ridge Mountain views and consistent water depth that doesn't fluctuate like crazy. So if you're dreaming of waking up to crystal clear waters and breathtaking mountain vistas in your backyard, Lake Kiwi is where you want to be. If you enjoyed this video and would like to stay up to date on what it's like to live, work, and play at Lake Kiwi in upstate South Carolina, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions during your discovery, please give me a call, shoot me a text, or drop me an email. I'm always here to help.